All right, thank you, Holden. Take a look. Koi fish have been spotted in Cottage Grove Lake after the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife says they were illegally released into the reservoir. Biologists say the fish could pose a serious problem to the ecosystem. KEZI 9 News reporter Joey Vaca shows us what some people are trying to do about the problem. The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife says it's heard about sightings of koi fish in Cottage Grove Lake as far back as four years ago. But the fish's ability to reproduce at absurd rates could explain why people are seeing so many of the fish now. Vanessa O'Leary fishes for bass regularly in Cottage Grove Lake and first saw the koi with her husband just over a month ago. She says she instantly started doing her own research on what they do in the new environment and was discouraged with what she learned. Basically, they destroy everything. They eat all the plant life. They eat all the stuff off the bottom. That means fish eggs, you know, they outcompete other fish. And at the end of the day, they're going to completely destroy and outcompete the other fish. And there will be nothing left. Jeremy Romer with ODFW says the koi can also spread disease and fast. If they have disease and then they're released, they can spread that to the native fish as well. And these fish are... Um, really rapid reproducers. One adult can produce up to 500,000 eggs. And so they can go from not being a very big problem to being a really big problem in a hurry. Local fishermen like O'Leary are ready to take matters into their own hands to try to put an end to the problem. I mean, I shoot a bow and I fish, bass fish religiously. And one of the things I thought like, hey, let's, let's put them together and see what happens. I have zero experience in bow fishing, but I said, hey, It'd be nice to have that option if I see something and maybe try it out. Go for it. I mean, it couldn't hurt, <laughs> so it might help. But O'Leary says she's not optimistic she or any other fisherman will be able to really make a difference. Even if people go out and they're trying to bow fish them, catch them in any way possible, it's there's the sheer amount of them in there they've established. And they're without proper intervention, it's not going to stop at this point. At this point in time, Romer says ODFW has no plans to conduct any sort of operation to get the fish out, but he does say if you manage to catch a koi, do not release it alive. Reporting in Cottage Grove, Joey Vaca, KZI 9 News.